Tommy in the Windy City. Tommy? Hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> it's very windy. <laughs> it goes pretty windy. <laughs> he's, he's playing along. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You just did a path from Minocchi right there. <laughs> you know, pretty, pretty windy. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be any windier. <laughs> Where's Pat? So, Come in and see us, Pat. That guy, it's... It's not necessarily illegal to own a gun in the city anymore because that lawsuit got held up. Yeah. Because the city originally didn't allow anyone to own a handgun in the city of Chicago. Yep. But then they rendered that unconstitutional. The problem with this guy, not that I agree with it, is that he was a convicted felon from like 20 years ago or 15 years ago. Oh. Which renders him, illegal, which renders him unable to own a gun. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's, that, that's the argument for the police is that he's not supposed to have a gun. Whoops. I guess they have to arrest him under those circumstances. Yeah, unfortunately, they have to. But, it, God, it sucks to be that guy. He's just minding his own business, and all of a sudden his wife is being woken up by a 19-year-old burglar mm. that went well, through Illinois some plywood, the, right? Illinois yeah. is the only state that doesn't allow any sort of concealed carry law. Mm. Crazy. In the, whole, in the whole United States. And it actually got passed last year by uh, 60 to 40 for votes, but it has to get passed by 71% because... Stupid idiots downstate wanted to get past. Oh, me. bullshit! Because it violates home rule. No, it doesn't. It's not true. All right. What the fuck, dude? All right. Punch out. See yeah, you. thanks for nothing, asshole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's probably 100 percent right. Oh God! Oh, Jimmy, so mean for no reason. None. It was a great call. He made some good points. I like was quiet for a while. He's like, "What is Jimmy oh, being? Okay. What I do? Like, oh, what okay. Fuck? What I, what I do? Uh, yay! I'm so happy that uh, worked out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, those are tough ones to get to work. Listen, um, yesterday there was a story. Unfortunately, I don't have it in front of me because I want to know more about this. New York City bans dinosaurs, Halloween, birthdays, and other things. Yeah, wow. in uh, the SAT questions, right? From school tests. Now, what's, what's the uh, reason for this? What's the problem with dinosaurs? Shite? They because, offend certain religious people. Because too many people believe uh, Jesus rode a dinosaur? Or they believe that the Earth is only 6,000 years old and it was never. Yeah, it's, too, it's not a thing. What was the Ricky Gervais thing yesterday that made me howl about making fun of the oh, people? Oh, yeah, like creationists. And saying, a, uh, what, the, the world's either 50... 5,000 years old. Or 4.5 billion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he kind of like weighs it with his hands and goes, meh. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Goes, oh, that's right, scientists. Scientists do. <laughs> what a great lie. <laughs> he does get into some brawls on Twitter with the people about that. Sintoran believes in the dinosaur Jesus thing? He must. Right, and he's and that close to being president. And so, but so he's not going to be our president, thank God. Ron but he's Paul that close. Too. Ron yeah. Paul believes in that. Yes, that's yeah. the weird thing. Fuck, Ron. But it doesn't matter. That's Come why on. I like him. I think that's an asshole view to have. But I like the fact that he's he's so liberal and so conservative. He's so all over the place. But he's Come not on. trying to. Like, that makes him a complete person. This yeah. Earth's been around for so fucking long, and I completely believe a, yeah, a five thousand years. I, I believe a shitload of civilizations that's have nice come language. and gone. Know who else believes that? Black girl. Oh, he does. But the five black girl yeah, believes five thousand years. Yep. That's stupid. Believes asshole. that people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Keep People were your... playing fetch with the velociraptors. Keep taking your dumb pictures in New York City and leave this shit to us. You know what? I do have a certain belief in this, too. I, I, uh, but I, I do believe that cavemen uh, rode on the backs of Brontosaurus uh. and worked in the, the um, uh, quarries with them. Mm -hmm. And when the when the whistle would blow to get off of work, mm -hmm. they actually and this is proven science pr uh, proved this would slide down the tail, mm -hmm. and you know how the end curls? Yeah, they would get uh, air like lift and right into a car that they used their feet to propel, and then would drive home that way. Wow! Yep. Yeah, but you're forgetting something. <laughs> yes. When they slid down in the back of the Brontosaurus because yeah. they were all wearing these like skirt dresses, right. how come their 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 little outfit didn't hype up? hike up and their balls and assholes <laughs> scrape against the rough skin of the dinosaur. That would hurt. Yeah. Dinosaur scales rubbing against your ball bag. That's why when you see pictures of dinosaurs, photos, they, they all have like a little bit of red and brown on the back of their tail. <laughs> oh, that wasn't put there by nature. Oh, I thought it was the natural color. No, no, that was people's colons and hemorrhoids being ripped <laughs> apart by their 
their rough <laughs> fucking long dinosaur tails. <laughs> and they learned once, don't do that on a stegosaurus back. All right. You lose Ooh, your wow, yeah. Right at the end of that your ride. Balls. What's the school story there? Just SAT uh, questions because it uh, pisses off some religions? Yeah. And also other stuff for people. Where PC. is my kid going to go to school? Because I'm not going to allow him to learn this. Send him private. This bullshit. Send him private. I'm not going to allow. Things. I'm not going to allow this bullshit. So where do where do parents like me uh, take their kid? Uh, home is there a place? <laughs> yes. I'm serious. Is there a place? Private school. Yep. I want my kid to be able to celebrate Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Halloween, all that Hogwarts. shit. Hogwarts. Send them to Hogwarts. Christmas shit, not not fucking winter festivals. Yeah. Valentine's Day, yeah, you're all right. that, all the all that good shit, all those good white people holidays. God, man, right? B being a parent is open up, open up my eyes. I I can't imagine you know the parents out there having to deal with this crap when their yeah. kids come home with this nonsense. Yeah. What's the story, Sam? I haven't read all of it. Oh boy! Well, how about you, dude? Oh, yeah, well, fucking. You got it too. I don't because it's from challenged? yesterday. That's uh, why I'm stuck here. Fucking reading challenge or something? Yeah, I mean, I read it. Why don't you go to Sylvan? No, just the base. Retard. Look, well, look. <laughs> <laughs> In an effort to eliminate potential quote unpleasant emotions among students, the New York Department of Education has placed a ban on mentions of birthdays, dinosaurs, Halloween. And dancing in city issued tests. Because it will offend religious people. Why birthdays? Because the Jehovah's Witnesses don't Jehovah's celebrate them. Oh, boy. That's how crazy this is getting? It's yeah. fucking oh, sickening. Well, because you can't say, all right, we won't mention dinosaurs, because then the Jehovah's Witnesses will say, well, if you make an exception for that, you have to make right. an exception. So now you have to ban everything. How about but that's, no. again, sanitized shit. You know, how about, shit. how about those people, if they don't like it, they go find another school Lump for it. their kids, instead of, <laughs> I have to now find a school for my kid. Yeah. Yeah, that that because the, cause the majority of of uh, the parents and the majority of the students don't give a fuck. No. So why are we always catering to the minority? To why one or, one or two people? I'm very upset. My daughter has to be in this school with a birthday party going on. Shut up! It's gotten that crazy. Yeah. Yep. Deal with it. The majority doesn't give a fuck. What happened to the majority rules? Yeah. It's, it's what happened to that in this country? Because they don't fight back. People yes. just, again, it's the small groups that have the fucking, the groupings and the emails. So they write, and there's not five million other people writing back going, if you do this, we'll spit on you. So all they're hearing is that fucking, that, that offended right. voice. Yeah. yeah. And we all remember that one kid that couldn't do the Pledge of Allegiance and had to leave, and he looked all awkward and stupid. Yeah. But fuck him. He but that was one parents. person. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah, and it is going off the parents. They're the ones that fucking do that shit. Oh my god! The kid, you think the kid doesn't want to be in there during a party? I remember parties in the classroom. They don't have those anymore. Guess what? What yeah, about the allowed to do that? What about well, we every other day was a party in grammar school. Remember? That was great. And what about the kids that didn't get to celebrate their birthday during the school year? We didn't look at those kids differently. No, that's true too. Yeah. What about those poor saps mm -hmm. that had their uh, birthdays in the summer? Yeah. Yeah, but that's probably why also. No birthdays because, you know, some kids have it in the summer and they don't get to have a party in school. Once so what? Luck of the draw, fucker. I know it, it Ooh, comes down to, it. once again, lazy parenting. Yep. Mm. Lazy parenting. Yeah. The a, you shouldn't allow it. And B, you, you, if, unfortunately, your kid falls into one of these categories as a parent, you fucking talk it out with them. Everyone's got their uh, shit. So they're saying dinosaurs uh, could bring up evolution, Halloween could suggest paganism, and birthdays might create animosity for students who are Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, the word poverty is also not allowed, as words that suggest wealth might cause some students to feel excluded. <laughs> who, who the fuck is overthinking this shit? Cause Liberal we were, fuck dicks. Because when yep. we were growing up, we didn't think twice about this shit. All I knew about Halloween was you, you put, put on, on a, a costume and uh, get candy. Put on a wacky costume, got candy. Thank you. Yes. That's all you thought. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't think of the deeper <laughs> meaning. Um, oh, my God. Am I reading this properly? The department is also banning mentions of divorce and disease in case students have loved ones who are separated or suffering from an illness. Sure. Slavery is also flagged, and terrorism is considered too scary. <laughs> this can't be true. <laughs> is this New York City? Doomed. Oh, yeah. New York City schools. Country of little twats. Doomed. It's from the post. It's in the education section. New York well. City schools across the board? City, yeah. Doomed. Yeah, this is a joke. No, it's a fucking joke, isn't it? Yep. What was that other one? There was one in there. That was it. Slavery. Slavery. Terrorism, divorce, disease. 
You can't mention divorce what? While you're just teaching? Uh, no, from city, I believe all this is from uh, city-issued tests. So you can't say, you know, like, jo Johnny's parents were divorced. But if his mom sucks 10 dicks a day. <laughs> <laughs> but the next step is obviously banning teachers from saying this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. We're so doomed. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Why? We're dumb. Why are we doing this? Uh, they think they're making this better society, this perfect society. I, I don't even know how I'm going to handle this when my kid goes to school. I, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. I'm going to lose my mind. Oh. This All this shit should be fair game, and then you fucking explain this stuff. That's good. Yeah, city uh, ev evolution is science, and they don't want to mention dinosaurs. So what are they going to teach in science class? Well, they can't teach uh, evolution. Okay, or can you? I think uh, what you can do is you can teach uh, evolution, but you have to preface it with this is a theory as is creation. Theory? And when I was in college, professors actually had to say we do have to say that some people believe in evolution while others believe in creationism. We're going to be focusing on those that believe in evolution in this class. And then they continue. And the to college teach. doesn't have to say that. No, but they did in Syracuse. Obviously, that was Syracuse's policy. Me, Syracuse. Oh yeah. my God. Me, Syracuse. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Me. Big militia. I, I, can I'm I, literally I having an, an an anxiety attack right now. Uh, this is this is like unbelievable. Yeah. I, I didn't care before I became a parent to this level. Dude, don't be upset. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, I just, <laughs> I, you just got here. I, I was only doing seven and nine today. I have to go tape uh, Good Day New York with the uh, Jay, <laughs> Jay to the end, uh, Nicolini. Jill Nicolini? No. You what time are you going to be on? Nicolini? I don't know. Uh, Say hi to Jill. Well, we're going to be simulcasting your appearance on uh, <laughs> on that show, too. And You're I'm promoting, promoting, radio uh, for us. promoting Caroline's tomorrow, Through Friday, Sunday. and Sunday. Uh -huh. Saturday is sold out. Um, so hopefully it will go well. And then I got the Huffington Post. You know, just a big day of press. <laughs> you want to see uh, what I'm going to do to get a big laugh? Watch this. Uh, nice. Hey, where's everybody? Uh, his sunglasses are on upside down. Fucking place is going to go nuts. Well, I <laughs> want to wear my sunglasses upside down. Bye, guys. Well, I oh, I'll put my sunglasses on upside down so I'll know that it's the other Troy Kwan and not me. <laughs> but what does the other Troy Kwan think? Cause he's thinking the same thing Cause he's in love with me <laughs> Troy, Troy Can't wait till he gets back here I wanna see his new schnozzola He's not gonna realize that this, uh, We got this whole new bit for him Oh, oh yeah He will realize Thanks <laughs> yeah. to thanks to social media Yes, and I'm I sure gotta ask you tweeted something. I never knew that Jehovah Witnesses Jehovah's Witnesses, right? Yeah uh, Didn't celebrate birthdays What's that about? I had no idea until today. They I don't celebrate new. shit. No. I didn't know that until no. today. No, that's it's why. Like, what, what's the reasoning? I don't know. They see all this celebration as uh, something that just isn't uh, necessary, and and doesn't. I I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to figure it out as I talk. Wait uh, a minute, uh, and I realize I just don't fucking know. I don't understand the people that just refuse to take advantage of everything that is offered to us on a daily basis. Yeah, and just go through their life as boring as possible. It's like, what are you? Doing? Why would you do that? Yeah. Why yeah. the fuck would you do that? There's some couple of fun things out there for the taking. A lot of fun things. Yeah, and it's up to you how out. far you want to go with all the fun things, right? But yeah. there are people walking around right now that won't do one fun thing. I'm not allowed to come soon. to the party. Hey, you want to come to my birthday party? I'm not allowed. Why? Well, I'm Jehovah's Witness. What does that mean? Well, my parents say I can't come to the party. And then they spend their time knocking on people's doors and trying to convince them not to celebrate their birthdays. Right, right. You know, are you having fun in there with that birthday party? Yeah. How about not? <laughs> How would it feel to you? We say you shouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't you like to not be having that fun? You think it, it it bothers them, though, as they're knocking on your door and you open it up and there's obviously a kid party going on. Parties in the, going on. In yeah, the back like, of the house and they could hear the fun uh, going on. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. They don't celebrate Christmas. Well, I, I could understand that one. Why? That just becomes a hassle after a while. Yeah. Yeah, and I've never thought of Christmas as a religious holiday, and most people haven't. No, you just think you know of it it's as, uh, you put a tree. You in know house, it's attached to presents. a religious thing. Yeah. 
but we don't actually go there. I don't think that's the brunt of everyone's energy on Christmas is to celebrate it as a religious holiday. You kind of just celebrate it as Christmas. It's, it's a whole different thing. You go to Christmas Mass some, and that's yeah. an hour. Yeah. That's it. One hour maybe you think about it as a religious holiday. The no, time you certainly don't. We, we, we got Easter coming up. And never thought of it as a religious holiday. You just think like, ah, oh, Easter eggs, uh, dinner at family's house and stuff. But it's not like this, you know, unless you're really religious. And even in that case, you'll go to church, right? Yeah. You'll, you'll celebrate uh, the, uh, re the resurrection, the one-way ticket to the resurrection. <laughs> uh, and then it's something that's just not about religion anymore. It's about hanging out with your family and uh, eating some uh, ham and some turkey. And some chocolate Easter eggs and peeps. Nice. Fresh peeps, by the way. I don't like Holy when they get scarce. Go get me Stale. some peeps. Peeps. Peeps are good. I had some. Two They're days fucking ago. around with the peeps. You had too, some man. peeps two days ago? Mm hmm. Yeah. They're so good. You know, when we were growing up as children of the 80s there, Sam? Yeah, I remember that. We only had wow. one, uh, one peep. One peep. It was yellow. We only had oh, the yellow peeps. Yellow and, peeps. And then, like, uh, when we were starting to get out of the, uh, the 80s, I believe they threw the pink in there, right? Yeah. But well, now it's uh, they're yeah. out of control. Go to the Peeps website. I got one please. of the Peep, one of the pink, <laughs> and one of the stink. I stick one finger up the chocolate bunny is fucking the hole in the bottom, yeah. so my finger comes out brown. So I got one of the pink and one of the stink. Okay. I had blue I, Peeps the other day. Blue, huh? Blue. Oh. blue. It needed the money. See, sticking with the theme of today. Sure. With your blue hat, it started. Uh -huh. Sam. Oh my God! Look at all these colors. Ah, uh, there's green peeps, orange peeps. There's gold peeps. Gold peeps. What? That's right. That's oh. crazy. There's gold. Peeps. Why would you? Uh, uh, there. Oh hey, God. this is the golden ticket theme song. It sure is, Ant. If you don't get it, uh, just listen to the replay, the beginning of the show, and shut up. There you go. Uh, Let's go yellow. Let's see the other colors. Yellow peeps are the best. What's that one? Pink. That's a pink peep. All right. I might be colorblind. That's a uh, purple Some peep. Say. That's purple. Huh? That's purple peep. I look great in me. Purple peep eater is what I've become. Yes. What else? Blue. There's a blue peep. All right. That's not blue. That is That's a aqua. aqua. That is kind of a turquoise. Aqua. Turquoise. I was, I was swimming in that color, peeps. Yeah. Over the uh, vacation. What's the next one? Where are my peeps at? Green, yo. Green peeps. With emphasis. Uh, they they <laughs> save <laughs> whales. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a bad one. <laughs> right, right after my bad one. Oh, no. <laughs> Believe it or not, oh. mine could possibly be the worst joke ever said on this Can radio you go backwards? Oh. Talking about green peeps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would go with uh, I would go with the orange peeps. You would. Do they taste uh, orangey? No. Nah, All these peeps taste them. exactly the same. Yeah, they do. However, I like fresh peeps, by the way, because they're very, uh, they almost have that, that crunchy, sugary thing to them. Mm -hmm. There's so much fucking sugar in there. That when you oh bite God. it, you just feel you, you just chocolate peep. You just squeeze your hand into a, the tightest fist ever after you peep. Oh my God, it's crazy! You're just, just on a sugar uh, rush. You don't feel right. Your no, head's spinning. No, no, your pancre always, you could hear your pancreas pumping. Just squeezing. <laughs> this is your pancreas. <laughs> oh, trying oh. to get that shit together. You know what I hate about uh, Easter and was the uh, the hollowed uh, fucking Easter bunnies. Chocolate Easter bunnies used to drive me nuts. Yeah. You, especially as a kid, you thought you had a fucking chocolate bunny. Oh, right. Yeah. You yeah. break it open. It was like, it was paper thin. Waffa thin. Yeah. I hear you. Are we uh, replaying that or we don't have to? E Rock's too busy testing, uh, texting. Are you. S huh? I didn't say anything. Do you know what we're asking for? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, forget it. Oh, forget they it. could just listen to the You're safe. Man. You're safe. Yeah, I, you're so safe. safe. You're safe. You're safe.